Hello and welcome to the video tutorial on symbolic classification with the Heuristic Lab. In this tutorial we create the binary classification model with genetic programming and analyze the results. The first step to perform symbolic classification for either binary or multi-class classification is to create a new algorithm, in this case a genetic algorithm, and to specify which problem should be solved. Heuristic Lab is shipped with default classification problems from the UCI machine learning repository. By choosing the mammography dataset from the combo box, it is loaded automatically, which is indicated by the changed problem name. Alternatively, custom data can be loaded in the problem by clicking the button right next to the CSV library. The loaded data is encapsulated in the problem data. By double-clicking, a new view is opened that allows an easier configuration of the parameters. We inspect the data by selecting the dataset and see that it contains around 950 observations and 6 variables. The target variable specifies which variable should be modeled using the checked input variables. The training partition is used by the algorithm to learn the model, whereas the test partition is used for estimating the generalization error. All those parameters are in our case already pre-configured because we loaded a classification problem that is provided by Heuristic Lab. The next step after loading the problem data is to adapt the problem parameters. The size of the evolved model is constrained by the maximum symbolic expression depth and length, which are initially set to 25 and 8. The functions that are used in the models can be configured in the symbolic expression tree grammar. Per default, arithmetic functions, conditionals, as well as terminals and constants are enabled. An exemplary model for testing the current problem configuration can be seen by clicking on the Show Sample Tree button. In the newly opened view, symbolic expression trees are randomly created using the configured grammar and the specified size limits. After the problem configuration, we must adapt the algorithm parameters. First, the maximum generations are set to 100 to reduce the execution time and the population size is increased. Furthermore, we modify the mutation probability and select the multi-symbolic expression tree manipulator as mutator. The algorithm is started by clicking on the play button and while it is running, the results can be directly observed in the results tab. For example, the best average and worst qualities of the current population are shown. The most important result is the best model found, which is stored inside the best training solution result. A solution encapsulates the evolved model, the problem data, as well as several quality metrics, such as the mean squared error or the accuracy on the training and test partition. Next, I will present different options for analyzing the evaluation results of our model. First, the confusion matrix shows the number of correctly classified and misclassified samples. The estimated class values view lists the class estimations for every sample. The receiver operator characteristic plots the false positive versus the true positive rate for every class and the area under the curve is shown in the tooltip of the corresponding legend entry. The data points of the ROC curve are obtained by modifying the threshold for the class predictions. The concrete thresholds are displayed in the tooltip of the data point. Furthermore, the evaluation results as well as the currently used thresholds of the model are shown graphically in the classification threshold view. The model itself is visualized as a symbolic expression tree per default, but textual and mathematical representations are also available. A convenient way of evaluating the impact of different subtrees is the solution simplifier. On the right side, the same quality metrics and evaluation results as before are displayed. On the left side, the tree representation of the model is displayed where the nodes are colored according to their influence on the evaluation result. White indicates low or zero impact nodes, whereas green indicates high impact nodes. 
First, we simplify the model by performing mathematical simplifications and constant folding. By double-clicking a node, it gets replaced by its average evaluation result and the quality metrics on the right are updated accordingly. Collapsed nodes can be restored by double-clicking them again. With this functionality, the size and complexity of a model can be significantly reduced. This concludes the video tutorial on symbolic classification with Heuristic Lab. Further information on symbolic classification and data analysis can be found on the Heuristic Lab homepage, as well as in selected publications of our research group.